Hello, everybody. My name is Cody, and this is my beautiful wife. Bridget. Bridget, how you feeling? I'm so sick. Bridget's not feeling great, but still went to see Scream 6 tonight. Had sure a great did. time there, didn't we? Yep. Oh, my gosh. All right, so this is going to be our completely spoiler-free review. It's going to be hard, but it's going to be a completely spoiler-free review for you guys with the intention on maybe having a spoiler live stream, hopefully Monday night, give everyone the weekend to see it. I would say Sunday, but we got planned Sunday. We got the Last of Us finale this week, so hopefully Monday night. I'll try to schedule it. If we don't do a live stream, I'll probably post a video, but I want to post videos ranking all the screams and the ghost faces. Let me tell you, it all just got a lot harder uh -huh. with this movie. I'll start off by saying, if you don't know, huge Scream fan. Favorite franchise, all time. What? We just watched the Scream 5. It was great. It was fun videos. The kill review. We're going to do it for Scream 6 when this comes out on digital. But anyway, I, originally I was building up to this movie, hoping for New York setting, out of Woodsboro, I wanted it to be fun, violent, thrilling, fast. I just wanted there to be a good solid opening and a good solid set of motives. Everyone can argue about who has the best motives, what killers they didn't like or like and reveal. It's one of my favorite part of the Scream franchise. Mm -hmm. And there were times where I have a lot bigger expectations. I want them to do something real big, something maybe setting up a future movie, wanting you know bigger swings the formula definitely exists for what scream is when it comes to third act reveals etc motive um there was no extra big swing however definitely got some of the things i've always wanted out of a scream movie i won't even say what they are right now to keep mm -hmm. it spoiler free this movie definitely it hit the ground running. It was fast. It was gory. It was scary. It was tense. It was very intense. Um, Holy shit. The kills were fucking crazy. They were there. It, it, but it never hit that Halloween kills wall right. that everybody had with Halloween kills where Michael was top notch and killing the shit out of people. But the story was... I don't know. People were, let's just say, split on it. <laughs> uh, very highly split on whether or not they liked it. Some people felt it was basically corny, and the story sucked, and you ruined the storyline, even if Michael was killing. So a lot of people were worried about something like that with this. I had a little bit of worries, you know? You don't right. want it to be all kill and nothing else, because Scream is a clever franchise. Um, but this, I don't think, suffers from that at all. When it comes to all the Screams movies, it, it, consistency is what they've been about. It easily has to be the most consistent slasher franchise. Yeah. You can have your favorite, your least favorite, but every Scream movie is good, and that remains true now through Scream 6. It is fresher in new ways. It does keep the same formula. I will say that. I, I can't say it's a bad movie. I definitely can't say it's a bad movie. No. I don't know where it's going to end up on my rankings, but ugh. we haven't done this in a while, but I'm going to go through our old school ranking system here. Let's start it off with the story. Again, cannot give any spoilers, not okay. even from the beginning or the ending. Oh, shit. We know it's in New York. We know it's fast paced. We know what we've seen in the trailers. Man. Story will always be the most divisive part when it comes to the ending and the the motives and reveals and we can't talk about that here but what would you give the story the story here? i give it a four i think a four is a fair a, a, a fair spot to be in yeah it's it it could have taken again some bigger risks in spots but again it gave me things i wanted a bunch right it gave wonderful character arcs for our core four survivors <sighs> of the new legacy cast and I love them all more. And I think everybody, even if you weren't a huge fan of any of the four survivors from Scream 5 initially, they will all grow on you in this yeah, one. Yeah, for real. Um, the, the acting and performances here. Oh, my God. Ooh, I think it balances out here and there. You know, some people always will be better than other performance-wise. But all around, this was solid as hell. Mm. It was... A step up even from five, I would say. I've been kind of open about the fact that I think there are a couple cringy kind of moments from Scream 5. 
Um, I didn't get any of that in no. this. The performances, I think, were really top-notch, especially from our core cast members. Right. I was um, paying attention real close to Sam because, like, she had some cringy things in the big in the fifth one. Fan fucking fiction. No, this. Sam. I love the the development of all of her story and background. Yeah. I love the development of uh, between her and Jenna Ortega as sisters. Um, again, that goes into the story, which was all that was done really well, and their performances were done really well. I got to give it a four and a half. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I definitely agree. It was it was great to see the legacy characters, uh, Kirby back, uh, Peyton Pendithier, uh, Courtney Cox is Gail Weathers through and through. Um, they all did an outstanding job in this. <laughs> It's so good. I'm trying to think. Were there were there any new edition standouts? I mean, um, Jack Champion was a goofy character. The uh, Mindy's new girlfriend. We, I, I don't know. You you like their relationship? Uh, Quinn. Quinn. I, 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 I didn't <laughs> see much of her in any um, of the advertising or anything. I so know. I don't know that there were too many huge standouts. I was definitely absorbed in mostly the story with the core four. Yeah. And uh, Chad and Mindy, dude. Kirby. Oh, my God. They, dude, the best. The best. Literally the best. They really. Oh, my God. I love them so much. They're perfect. Everyone played their part well. Um, visuals. Top oh, my notch. God. That gets a five. For yeah, me. for real. Uh, oh radio silence. The, it, it, same with Scream Five. The the visuals are on point. They utilize a few good bits with the New York setting, alleys. You see the ladder scene from the trailers. Subway. The subway. Uh, so we got taste of it. The bodega, obviously. I think it was. It, it's filmed in such a way. Ghostface feels terrifying when he's coming at you. He felt the biggest he's ever And the ever fact felt. that it's mi- like around Halloween oh, makes it so gosh. much worse. That was a good. That was a good choice. I think it, it added. It definitely added to it, uh, allowing that, mm-hmm. that time setting. Entertainment value definitely a five, five as well for five, me. Five, five, five. Uh, <laughs> uh, this if you like Scream. You're gonna love this movie. If you like slashers, you're gonna love this movie. It's fun. It's a good who who done it. You probably do need to know a good about a bit of scream lore to fully through and through enjoy everything about it. Obviously, it's Scream Six. What are yeah. you gonna do? There's there's background here, but um, it 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 still feels like it works well as a standalone. It, yeah. And uh, I, I was fully entertained and on the edge of my seat and gasping <laughs> he was like talking like talking out loud to the, t- the <laughs> sorry movie. that's the reaction person Appar- in me. yeah it, it was just single bits too I'm just like, like <laughs> what are we gonna do I'm like kill him i promise i'm not obnoxious in a the theater i wasn't loud no <laughs> i did a couple m- single words slipped out accidentally it's funny it was in it i was in it i was in it um and overall I mean, we're going to give it a star rating for this. I, we're going to have to figure out our Scream rankings, our Ghostface rankings, all Man. that soon. It's going to be very hard after this. All, overall, I'm going to say uh, it, it's not going to take my spot as the best Scream. Um, if, if They would really have to take some bigger swings in some way, but I don't know. They did take some very effective good swings in this. I'm giving it a four and a half out of five, absolutely. Yep. And I can't wait to somehow figure out how to rank these movies now. I know, it's gonna be so hard. A couple years ago I only had four. Now I have six. And we have six fantastic screen movies. And I can't wait to discuss all the spoilers with you guys. So I'm hoping Monday night we'll do that. I'm so, oh, I need to talk more about it, but I also need to process it more. I might want to go see it again. Thank you, Radio Silence. Thank you, <laughs> the cast and crew of Scream Six and Five. Um we love you, Sydney. I hope you're back. I hope Scream 7 is actually greenlit, as mm-hmm. the rumor is. I hope they do film it soon. I really do hope Sydney is brought back. But if there's one thing that Scream 6 definitely did prove is that it it wasn't needed. The The new core group has done well. Their story to tell. You just I'm can't satisfied. not love them. For, for real. Bridget, without spoiling... What's your standout in this movie? Is it the kills? Is it the ghost face? Is it one of the characters? The opening scene. The opening scene. The fucking opening My God, scene. can't talk about it at all. It, the opening scene. New, so 
swing and a hit. That it 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 could potentially be my favorite opening it's scene so in good. ways. Probably not. Oh, we got to talk about it. We're gonna have to talk about it. Let us know what you thought though. Try to keep it spoilerish free for some people. Don't yeah. just blurt out the ending or anything. Let us know what you thought. I can't wait for Scream Seven. We're gonna talk more <laughs> Ghost Daddy soon. Hashtag Ghost Daddy. Happy Ghost Daddy Day. Go see it if you haven't. Love you guys. Thank you for everything. That's it for this one. Until next time. Bye. Bye.